Welcome, and thank you for your interest in New York University. My name is Risa Harms. My pronouns are she, her, and I am a senior assistant of undergraduate admissions. I'm also a proud NYU graduate. I received my master's degree in higher education from NYU Steinhardt School. I'm looking forward to sharing information about NYU with you all today. My goal today is to give you all some insight on what it's like to study here at NYU. We'll be sharing the ins and outs of what it's like to be a student here, including academics, global experiences, and what it's like going to college in cities such as New York City, Abu Dhabi, and Shanghai. But before we start, I think it's important to recognize that all of our lives have been disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. More than anything, we hope that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy at this time. The college admissions process can be stressful by itself. The added stress of dealing with COVID-19 makes it all the more difficult. Flexibility is the operative word in our community. We're continuing to offer a variety of virtual events and opportunities like this. In addition, we offer outdoor, in-person campus tours for vaccinated and boosted students. For additional visit opportunities, check back to our website. As I mentioned before, my name is Risa Harms and I've been here for over one year, but this is actually my second time working for NYU undergraduate admissions. I first started at NYU a decade ago. And after a few years at admissions, I moved to the other side of the desk and worked as a college counselor in New York for about six years. I'm thrilled to return to undergraduate admissions and NYU because I remember so vividly just how daunting the college admissions process was for me. My parents attended college outside of the United States and their application process was drastically different from ours. So when it came time for me and my siblings to apply to college, our parents weren't able to help us navigate the process. Mind you, this was pre-internet, if you could imagine such a time. So in order to learn more about different schools and how to apply, we relied heavily on the information we received from mission counselors that visited our hometown in New Jersey. So for me to be able to pay it forward and help demystify this process for as wide and diverse an audience as possible is a true privilege. My older sister actually ended up attending and graduating from NYU, but since we were only a year apart in school, when it was my time to apply to schools, I looked anywhere but NYU, just so I could avoid being someone's kid sister for another four years. But guess what? I ended up here anyway. What can I say? NYU's a pretty special place. But enough about me, let's get started. NYU's founder, Albert Gallatin, was Treasury Secretary to two U.S. presidents. He wanted to create a university that was not just accessible to the elite. So in 1831, he created NYU and modeled our university after the great universities in Europe, in and of the city, so students could learn and grow beyond the classroom space and be prepared for the world through their education. This is NYU a university without walls, one that prepares its diverse student body to be comfortable anywhere and effective everywhere. Our global mindset has informed our approach to education from our earliest days in and of the city to today, in and of the great cities of the world. As an extension of our founding beliefs, NYU is the first university to offer a seamless, global educational experience that reflects the world as it is today, a world beyond borders. Now, unlike our name suggests, we do not just exist in New York. We have two other degree granting campuses in Abu Dhabi and Shanghai, as well as 12 campuses around the world where students can study. With this approach, NYU prepares students to be successful in an inter ever more connected world, in an ever more interconnected world. Here students become globally minded citizens who understand the complexities and can leverage the opportunities of today's society. With an education without boundaries, you can express interest in one, two, or all three of our degree granting campuses on a single application. We are a complex university with many options. So be sure to research before completing the application to make sure you understand all of those options. Now, to apply for admission, every applicant needs to submit the Common application. Through the Common app, we'll learn different facets about you, your personal background, 
your academics and extracurriculars, and your specific interests at NYU. We'll learn about your academic history in a few ways. Your self-reported academic record, also known as the SRAR, and the Common Application School Report. If you're applying as a transfer student, we also require your college transcripts as well. You'll be asked to complete your self-reported academic uh, record after you submit your application to NYU. So don't worry, you do have time to submit your application on the deadline and still have time to submit your SRAR. Now, using your high school transcript as guidance, you'll be asked to enter the courses you've taken and the grades that you've received throughout high school. Once we've received your SRAR, the Common Application School Report will help give us the context with which to review that record. NYU students come from a variety of schools around the world. The most competitive applicants will take among the most rigorous courses available at their school and do well in them. The school report helps us determine the rigor of your academic record by letting us know more about your school's academic offerings. So for instance, if your school does not offer advanced placement, also known as AP courses, you will not be disadvantaged against students whose schools do offer such courses. Next, we ask for standardized test scores that meet our flexible testing policy. NYU has one of the most flexible testing policies of any college or university including an extension of our test optional policy for first year and transfer applicants that we've implemented during the COVID-19 pandemic. So while NYU welcomes applicants in the fall 2023 cycle to submit test scores in line with our policy, we will not require it. So if you do not submit test scores, you will not be disadvantaged during the application review process for 2022 to 2023. This updated testing policy is only for students who will be applying to NYU in the coming application cycle. Now, students for whom English is not their native language are required to submit English language testing, though there may be exceptions depending on the language of instruction at your particular school. Next, we'll learn about your life outside of the classroom through the Common Application Activities section. Now, these include both in-school and out-of-school activities, including those in the virtual space, because we know COVID-19 has absolutely impacted activities for some of you. Activities can include everything from sports to clubs to personal hobbies, involvement with your religious community, work, family responsibilities. We have a rich and robust student life at NYU, so we want to see who are going to be the next members and leaders of our clubs and organizations. We'll learn about you through the words of others. This year, NYU requires only one letter of recommendation. We'll accept this letter from a teacher, counselor, coach, supervisor, or anyone else in a position of authority. When choosing your recommender, consider who is best suited to articulate your potential as a student at NYU. If you are selecting a teacher, here are some things you may want to keep in mind. It doesn't have to be a teacher of the subject you intend to study in college. It doesn't have to be the teacher who gave you the highest grade. It, uh, consider this if you're choosing a teacher recommendation. If my admission counselor could snap their fingers and witness me in just one of my classes, which one would I want them to see? With which class was I most authentically engaged? In which class did I truly advocate for myself and work hard to earn the grade that I received? And if all things are equal, who would readily and happily write on my behalf? Students may submit up to three recommendations total. However, you only need one recommendation letter to complete your file and for us to begin reviewing your application. We'll also learn, learn about you in your own words. Now we'll submit the common application personal statement. In regards to that statement, you can choose to write about anything you wish. In fact, the seventh prompt on the common app is literally topic of choice. Now, there simply is not enough room for you to tell your entire life story, so we recommend that you consider your essay subject carefully. What about your identity, personality, or life experience is most important for me to understand about you? And what facts, stories, or opinions are going to help me reach that understanding in 650 words or less? Whatever topic you choose, you should feel comfortable approaching it with a sense of self-reflection and exploration. 
Uh, you should also be prepared to spend considerable time with this piece, because by the time we are reading your essay, we expect you to have moved well past the first and second drafts. In addition to the common application personal statement, there's a 250 word optional writing prompt we invite you to answer. NYU was founded on the belief that a student's identity should not dictate their ability for them to access higher education. Our community embraces diversity in all its forms as a cornerstone of the NYU experience. So in 250 words or less, we would like to better understand how your experiences would help us shape and grow our diverse community. Again, this prompt is optional. So if you do not choose to answer this question, your application will not be put at a disadvantage in our review process. Now for students applying to our artistic programs in the Steinhardt School or the Tisch School, most programs require applicants to either audition or submit a portfolio to be considered for admission. Now that we've discussed the how to apply, let's discuss the when. NYU has three deadlines for first year applicants early decision one with a November deadline, and early decision two and regular decision both with January deadlines. Now the early and early decision one and two reflects on when you will receive your decision within roughly six to eight weeks from your application deadline. It also refers to how early you will be making your decision about where to attend. That's because early decision one and two are binding agreements. They should only be considered if NYU is your first choice and if you're ready to commit to NYU should you be admitted. So if you're ready to buy out our bookstore, you want to plant violets throughout your garden, if you're trying to convince your family that a bobcat would make a suitable house pet, maybe you'd like to consider early decision. That's because if you're admitted to NYU under ED1 or ED2, you are expected to attend and you're not going to be able to consider other admission or financial aid offers from other institutions. Now, if you're applying as a transfer student, most programs, though not all, will accept applications for either the spring or fall semesters with a deadline of November 1st and April 1st, respectively. Now that we've discussed applying for admission, let's talk about applying for financial aid. NYU is committed to working with every family and supporting their students' attendance if offered admission. We understand that college is an investment. All applicants, regardless of nationality or notification plan, are invited to apply for financial aid. To be eligible for financial aid at NYU, including all scholarships or grants, all applicants must complete the CSS financial aid profile and the non-custodial parent profile if your parents are not married or separated. In addition, students who are U.S. citizens or permanent residents need to complete the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, if they are applying to our campuses in New York or Shanghai. Both the profile and the FAFSA must be submitted by our financial aid application deadlines, so do not wait to receive your admission decision before applying for aid. The value of an NYU education is more than an NYU degree. It's access to our entire system and all the resources that a student can tap into as a part of our global network, including faculty, research, internship opportunities, study away sites, and an alumni network that spans every industry and in every continent. In short, we've talked about how to apply to NYU, and now I want to share an opportunity with prospective high school students on how to experience NYU. For those of you who aren't yet at the college application stage, I want to mention that any juniors or sophomores in the audience today can experience NYU firsthand through our summer pre-college program. In pre-college, high school students take classes with NYU students and earn college credit. They live in NYU residence halls and learn to navigate the campus and the city, just like NYU students. It's an invaluable opportunity to get a sense of what it's really like to live and study here in the campus without walls and to discover academic strengths and interests that can shape your college career and beyond. Now, pre-college is just one of many programs for high school students offered at NYU, from performing arts programs at Tisch to STEM programs at Tandon, journalism and law programs, you name it. There is a high school program for everyone so please be sure to check out nyu.edu slash high school for more information.
We are truly the university that never sleeps. At any given time, our student, faculty, and staff are learning, thinking, and innovating around the clock. Much of this is centered around our three main campuses. Each of our three degree granting campuses were established in carefully chosen cities. New York City, Abu Dhabi, and Shanghai represent three of the most diverse and dynamic cities around the globe. Every student at each of our campuses has the opportunity to move through NYU's network to obtain a global education. NYU has redefined the idea of studying abroad, which is informed by our unique belief that boundaries are imaginary, an idea that builds on our founding principles. To be successful, you need to be fluent and fluent across cultures and countries. In addition to our three degree granting campuses, we have 12 global academic centers around the world where NYU operates both academic and residential facilities. They span six continents, including two locations in the US. The fact that they're all NYU campuses has some distinct advantages. English is the language of instruction at all of these sites. Your financial aid award, including any scholarship or grants you're receiving from NYU, will travel with the student to any NYU site. And there's no concern about transferring credits because these are NYU courses. Our approach is amplified by our global presence. Imagine bringing the full breadth and scope of NYU's network to your education. Regardless of where you study, every student has to take core curriculum courses grounded in the liberal arts. But imagine if your city became part of that conversation and part of the classroom. So imagine studying art history at the Louvre in Paris or the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. Imagine studying politics minutes away from Parliament in London or the Capitol Building in Washington, DC. NYU students are traveling the world, collecting passport stamps and leaving with a global perspective. In fact, some students can spend multiple semesters away from their home campus. And our first year students who are part of our liberal studies program, a school based in New York City, can even spend their first year away. Much like our students, our faculty move across our network and are also uninhibited by time zones and comfort zones. In addition to traveling the world, our faculty are also engaged in the local community. In fact, in New York City, nearly half of our faculty live in the Greenwich Village neighborhood. Collectively, NYU faculty leverage various NYU locations to teach and conduct research in places most relevant to their expertise. This allows NYU students to interact with experts in their field, in the field. One wonderful example is Professor Lena Bilkinen. She is Professor of Linguistics and Psychology at NYU's Washington Square and Abu Dhabi campuses. Mm -hmm. She runs the NYU Neurolinguistics Lab, and one of their research projects is the NYU Kidlang Project. It aims to understand how language is processed and understood in the brains of school-aged children. Now, in order for the study to be effective, they're looking for a diverse sample population. What better place to recruit students than in New York City, home to one of the largest, most diverse public school systems in the entire world? Now, this project's benefits are twofold. First, it's creating some robust research on language development, and it's also including uh, introducing local children to a laboratory setting to help kickstart their interest in laboratory science. NYU students are able to learn from some of the best faculty around the world. Our faculty members are highly engaged in research and our students are excited to engage with the faculty members and vice versa in that research. Students have countless opportunities to garner funding for their own research projects, whether it's working with cells in a lab, experimenting on an urban farm, or combing through the architectural history of New York City. NYU students have unmatched research opportunities thanks to the resources of the largest private research institution in the country. Now, up to this point, we've talked a lot about the university as a whole, but we noted that you have to determine which campus or campuses are of interest to you. So although there are many qualities that are shared by all three campuses, each is distinct in what they offer students. So we'll go ahead and talk about them one by one. First, by talking about our first campus, 
New York City. At NYU New York, we have 10 traditional undergraduate schools and colleges, roughly 230 areas of study and over 4,000 courses available to our students. Students who apply to NYU New York must apply directly to one of our schools or colleges. Again, research is key to determine how NYU can best help you achieve your goals. So to help you get started, let's discuss some of the academic paths you could pursue at NYU New York. Students interested in the arts and media can take conservatory style programs with access to the liberal arts in both our Tisch School of the Arts and our Steinhardt School for Culture, Education and Human Development. Media offerings span from journalism in our College of Arts and Science, media culture and communications in our Steinhardt School, to integrated design and media in our Tandon School for Engineering and interactive media arts at Tisch. Students interested in business can pursue traditional business disciplines with a unique focus on social impact through the Stern School of Business. Those with more focused business interests can pursue sports management, real estate, or hotel and tourism management in our School of Professional Studies. In addition, students can pursue business and technology management at our Tandon School. Science students can study both applied and theoretical sciences through the College of Arts and Science or the Tandon School of Engineering. For those interested in humanities and social sciences, students have access to politics, literature, cultural studies, languages, and can even create their own major. Language houses offer immersion well beyond the classroom language experience, and humanity and social science programs are available through our College of Arts and Science, our Steinhardt School, and they can also be studied at our Gallatin School for individualized study. Students interested in education or health-related, service-related professions can build in robust fieldwork experiences into their curriculum. Train to become a classroom teacher and receive certification, or learn how to shape education policy through education studies at Steinhardt. Our Myers College of Nursing is a direct entry program and students study right across the street from our Langone Medical Center. And our smallest school on our New York campus, the Silver School of Social Work, offers small classroom spaces as well as tremendous field work opportunities for students interested in pursuing social work. For those of you who may have had trouble deciding which division of the university is right for me, they're all wonderful options. The Gallatin School for Individualized Study allows students to access the breadth of our university offerings to create their own interdisciplinary area of study. In addition, students can take advantage of our robust array of cross school minors. At last count, we had over 125 of them. So by the time you graduate from NYU, you'll be an expert in your area of study. Now, learning at the New York campus goes well beyond our classroom, which is why we've embraced our location in the heart of Manhattan's famed Greenwich Village and as part of the Brooklyn Tech Triangle. Both are creative communities. Greenwich Village is lined with cobblestone streets, row houses, brownstones, outdoor cafes, and bookstores. The Metro Tech Center in Brooklyn is surrounded by cultural and artistic venues, as well as tech companies and startups. Students can apply what they've learned in the classroom to the real world and bring that experience right back into the classroom. Now that you've learned more about our New York City campus, I'd like to give you a glimpse of what life would be like as a student at NYU Abu Dhabi or NYU Shanghai. First stop is NYU Abu Dhabi, located 6,800 miles from New York in the capital of the United Arab Emirates. NYU Abu Dhabi was founded in 2010 and its campus is a true microcosm of the world. Approximately 89% of Abu Dhabi's population is from all over the world and our campus mirrors that cosmopolitanism. Over 100 countries are represented in a student body of approximately 1,800 students. These students also speak over 100 different languages. 
Now, due to the small size of the campus with a student faculty ratio of four to one, students are able to create strong mentoring relationships with faculty who represent 25 majors across the arts, humanities, social sciences, engineering, and the sciences. A testament to this fact is the fact that NYU Abu Dhabi has had only nine graduating classes so far, and they've already produced 17 Rhodes Scholars and 10 Fulbright Scholars, among other accomplishments. The campus is located in the Sadiat Cultural District, which is home to major cultural venues such as the Louvre Museum. The Guggenheim will also be breaking ground soon. Also restaurants, entertainment, hotels, and recreational activities such as golf courses, beaches, and mangrove kayaking. Next, we'll travel 4,000 miles from our Abu Dhabi campus to our Shanghai campus. NYU Shanghai was uniquely designed to bring students together from China and the rest of the world. NYU Shanghai was designed so that half of our student body comes from China and the other half hail from more than 70 countries around the world. So every day is a masterclass in cross-cultural relations. Our campus is located in Pudong, the heart of the financial district in Shanghai, China's largest city. Like our students in New York, Students in Shanghai view the city as their campus. Each international NYU Shanghai student has the chance to experience China as a local, from attaining proficiency in the Chinese language, to living with the Chinese roommate, to exploring internships. NYU Shanghai has a dual identity as both an American and Chinese university. And when students graduate, they actually earn two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science from NYU, and a second degree from NYU Shanghai, which is the Chinese diploma certified by the Chinese Ministry of Education, which opens career opportunities around the world. No matter the campus you call home, there's only one place that's going to prepare you for our world of connections and interrelations, and that's NYU. There is nowhere that is beyond our reach or our ability to get you where you need to go. Now these connections start from day one in your residence halls, where we challenge students to be comfortable outside of their comfort zones. In New York City, unless two students specifically request to live together, no two students from the same zip code will be roommates. In Abu Dhabi, you would be hard pressed to find someone with the same zip code as you. And in Shanghai, Chinese national students are paired with international students. And this diversity of thought extends to our classroom. At all three of our campuses, students take courses both inside and outside of their chosen major, providing breadth across different disciplines and depth in their chosen area of concentration. Now, while stepping outside your comfort zone can be, well, uncomfortable, uh, NYU is fully here to support students as they live and learn. Every student has access to the resources and the offices that work to address the full spectrum of student needs. Now, we understand that some people are still facing challenges related to the COVID-19 pandemic. NYU offers many resources to help students in our community through these difficult times, from mental health services to online learning opportunities, tips to adjusting to life back in person, to one-on-one -on -one counseling with our student success specialists. The health of our students is at the top of mind, especially during this difficult time. Next, we have our welcome orientation, which takes place on all three of our campuses. Now, this takes place the week before classes begin, and it gives you a time to familiarize yourself with your classmates, your city, your school, and its resources. We prioritize student, student physical and mental well-being with our student health center and our wellness exchange, which offers counseling services to our students. Our Office of Global Services is wonderful for students who need visa support to access NYU. And our Moses Center for Student Accessibility works with NYU students to determine and implement appropriate and reasonable accommodations, as well as connect students to available programs and resources to support equal access to a world-class education. In regards to academic support, it takes many different forms at NYU, from major specific advising to support writing academic papers through NYU's Writing Center, through tutoring through the University Learning Center. 
Though we encourage students to get outside of their comfort zone, NYU will always provide support all along the way. Now, NYU has a distinct sense of place. While there is no wall surrounding NYU, something we pride ourselves on, there is still a strong sense of campus and community at NYU. Whether it's prototyping in NYU's makerspace in Brooklyn, uh, working with our Leslie Entrepreneurial Lab, the eLab, which supports startups in all stages of development, or simply working on group projects in our BOPES library. The campus offers a multitude of student common spaces designed to encourage collaboration and innovation. But it's not just all work at NYU. An important part of the student experience is getting involved in our extracurricular activities on campus. Each campus has a student affairs office dedicated creating opportunities for students to engage at NYU and in their surrounding communities. There are hundreds of student clubs and organizations across all three campuses. For student athletes, we offer Division III athletics in 10 sports. For fencing, we actually compete against Division I institutions. Now, some clubs you may have participated in through high school, such as Model UN, a cappella, or intramural athletics. Others may spark a passion you didn't even know you had, such as the mycology group, which studies mushrooms and its applications, or the future fashion group, which promotes sustainable fashion. Regardless of your interests, you'll be able to find a community of students with similar passions. NYU's Wasserman Center for Career Development has a full menu of career development related services, including resume review, coaching, advising, mock interviews, and NYU Handshake, which is a global database of opportunities accessible anywhere NYU has a presence and beyond. And despite the disruption the pandemic caused across professional industries, we have still seen a strong desire by employers to connect with NYU students, including in the virtual space. Not only has the amount of hand, uh, internships available on Handshake increased by 20% last year, but employers are actively participating in virtual career development and recruitment events to attract NYU students. And current students have taken advantage of the many virtual internship opportunities being offered. Wasserman surveyed graduating seniors and reported that 93% of students participated in at least one job or internship while on our New York campus. In addition, 92% of students were either employed or enrolled in graduate school on a full-time basis within six months of graduation. Now, the businesses on this slide are just a sampling of the places our students have been employed following graduation. NYU graduates can be found in all industries, companies like HBO, IBM, JP Morgan Chase, the Human Rights Watch. The average starting salary for our recent graduating class was nearly $63,000. And we are proud to say that in a time when frontline workers are more essential than ever, students in our College of Nursing are compensated accordingly, earning on average salaries in excess of $85,000 with a vast array of alumni, students, NYU students are connected to industries spanning nearly every field and every location imaginable. While I know that this was fast, I hope this information has helped give you an idea of who NYU is and all that we can offer. Now, before we wrap up our session, if you are interested in taking a deeper dive, learning more about NYU, including more about our Abu Dhabi and Shanghai campuses, I would encourage you to register for our future in-person or virtual events on our website. Now, I really hope that this session was helpful and gave you a better sense of what it's like to be a student here. If you have any additional questions, please contact our office via phone or email, and we would be happy to answer those questions for you. We also encourage you to find us on social media at MeetNYU or on our website where you can find your specific admissions counselor for your region. Our ambassadors can be reached by the email listed on this slide. We hope that you'll be able to come visit us in person. With that, thank you all so much for attending. Goodbye and have a wonderful day.